Hey guys, so today I filmed a look with the Desert Dusk palette from Huda Beauty. If you want to know what I thought of this palette, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so I have a different setup right now. I'm going to go ahead and do the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. The, what's it called? Desert Sands? We're going to go ahead and go in with Tarte's Shape Tape. And we're going to prime our lids. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the contour powder, a really light one. So I got this in PR and I'm so excited about it. Yeah, so look how cute this is. It's supposedly Sam from Dubai. Super cute, now let's open it without messing up my nails. Okay, so right away, beautiful. There's an also a really nice sized mirror in here. The only thing is that this shadow right here Cosmo came broken and I know a lot of people had it come broken um, and I think the only reason why is it's a loose glitter like look it's gorgeous it's a loose glitter though and a lot of people had it come broken that girl not everybody can come be perfect you know what I mean we're gonna work with these colors today um, I'm gonna do like a really fall burgundy smoky eye. I'm gonna get into it because I'm really damn excited about this palette. Going in with amber, this color right here, there's a little fallout, but not that bad. Um, and I'm just gonna get into it. bad super like five minute smoky eye as I can tell right now you can see super blendable full coverage very pretty yeah, I'm gonna put this as a base we're gonna live life on the freaking edge and I'm going in with my new BH cosmetic brushes because I'm like don't sleep on BH Cosmetics. Like, they're bomb ass company. I'm not even kidding you. I've had like their stuff for so long. But they sent me a bunch of stuff. So, I'm going in with her liquid lipstick, putting it on the back of my hand with a synthetic brush. I hope this doesn't mess my eyes up. And then, um, really working it in and just kind of trying to feather this out in the crease but we're gonna go ahead and pack that with an eyeshadow packer brush with the saffron color this one right here super excited about this guys oh perfect i hope it doesn't crease <gasps> guys i love this So I'm gonna pack and then blend. I know that's kind of like the reverse of everybody doing that, but. Really work that in. Gonna go in with some brown liner and smudge that all in my eye. Okay, I'm gonna take off the tape. I'm also gonna do like a really smudged under eye because like that's what I'm into right now. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put lashes on and do the other eye and I'll be back. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go in with um, Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer because I used this the other day. I think it worked. I don't really believe. I don't really believe in primers, but hmm, 
this one is interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm having a malfunction with my lashes. For some reason, even with like the toughest glue that I have, they do not want to stick. Why? Why? They don't want to stick on my eyelashes. Why? Why? I'm going to go in with the smudger brush and do the under eyes. Get that inner corner because you're doing bright dark shadows bright dark shadows whatever okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that out just leaves a little bit of a brighter under eye I don't know my Rimmel lasting perfecting foundation and it's a little too dark for me so I'm gonna mix it with some lighter concealer this is the lighter one no it's not the lighter one you guys do not sleep on these bh cosmetics concealers I'm telling you right now they're bomb as hell they're so bomb whoa Get that zit up there. I'm gonna redo my eyebrows too. Touch them up. Maybelline Better Skin. I've been really loving this compact powder. If I keep looking that way, I have a mirror over there, like a big one. So. Um. Adds a little bit more coverage. We're gonna do our under eyes. You guys have been asking me forever to do a tutorial on how I smudge my under eye. So we're gonna do it. Oh, liner, just smudge that in. Really get it into the lash line and don't have anything peeking through. Get the smallest brush you can. I'm using this one, it's a way bigger one, but get a smaller one if you can. And just smudge. All right, we're gonna start contouring. So the simple as that, just kind of get a like a little small fluffier brush and really work that in. Make sure your liner does not set before you do that because if it sets, it's gonna be hard to blend in. Everybody does it different. Um, a lot of people don't do it that way, but I do it that way and it's been working for me, so. Um, just clean up your edges with a brush. We're going to go ahead and contour our face with the BH Cosmetics contour powder. Um, I'm going to use this color here. It looks like it's the most non-warm color, but we'll see. Oh no, it's warm. Damn it. So this is a pretty warm toned contour. Okay, it's sticking to my... Oh no. Um, I like to soft contour. Um, I really don't like a harsh contour, but there we are. We have a harsh contour today. <laughs> we're gonna blend it out with some bronzer too though. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in with Hoola. We're just gonna dust that because um, we have contour on already, but I feel like I just need a little bit of a cohesive bronzer. Hourglass Cosmetics, one of my favorite brands, they sent me a like highlight contour, like ambient lighting powders. I really, this is one of my favorite blushes in the world. I did kind of. Not my day. Not my day. See, that was okay. I'm using Makeup Forever's Mist and Fix. Industrial. Take the foundation off your hair with a baby wipe or a makeup wipe. That shit works. I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back in a second. I sprayed a lot. Oh, 
Oh, it's gonna do spray marks. If you think it's gonna leave spray marks, just take a beauty blender to your face. We're doing the Huda Beauty 3D Highlight Palette just because why not use all her stuff in my video because I have all her stuff. Not all of it, but most of it. I'm using her lashes in Samantha. I'm gonna use her highlight in 3D Highlight. I'm gonna use, this is a cream. I'm gonna use the cream first and then I'm gonna mix these two together. Let's get to going. <laughs> I like to add this highlight um, with a beauty blender just because it like diffuses it. Okay, we're gonna get fan brush and we're mixing that light and the gold. Okay, we missed and fixed it. Sometimes, like one of these times um, on Instagram, I like I did a um, what's that called? I did a setting spray and someone's like, "Are you sweating?" And I'm like, "No." probably was but I like I covered it up you know mm. so now we're gonna do the Huda Beauty now we're doing the Huda Beauty a showgirl liquid matte shimmer and we're just gonna get started on this <gasps> this is so pretty guys my skin looks really good like I'm honestly rethinking that contour like I think it looks good The thing is, with this, you have to work in small, thin layers. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. I'm really like obsessed with this look. I think I'm gonna be wearing this look quite a bit. Like I feel like I look so good, my skin looks good, and my highlight did not catch like my texture, like not a lot of it, because I have a lot of texture and pores. You know what it is. Like, this is so good. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Skin Equalizer, Smoothing Primer, and then I think combined with um, this Mist and Fix with by Makeup Forever, that's, like, my skin looks so good, and it hasn't looked this good in a while. Um, my eyebrows do need work. Um, hit me up if you guys know how to do eyebrows, because it's not my forte. It's not, it's not something I'm good at. But... Anyways, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I had so much fun filming it. Until next time, I will see you later.